Welcome to iLecture Online. A graph is sometimes worth a thousand words. So here, let's try to graph the situation where we're dropping a ball from a fixed height and in successive attempts, the ball will be restored to some extent. And so the higher it bounces back to, the greater the coefficient of restitution. But we already realize that it's not a linear relationship. There is, however, a linear relationship with the coefficient of restitution squared. So what we're going to do here is graph the relationship between the final kinetic energy to the initial kinetic energy, which is related to the coefficient of restitution squared. We'll see that's a linear graph. So when the ball goes up two meters, we get back about one eighth of the energy. And it goes up four meters, we get back about a half. Six meters, we get about three quarters. And make sure I get this kind of looking linear like that. So these are the data points that are graphed. And then continuing on, you see at 10 meters, at 12 meters, and at 14 meters. Then we connect all the dots. We should get a straight line, a linear relationship between the height that the ball attains that also will then be related to the energy that it retains or that the restored back in the object after the collision, which is also proportional to the coefficient restitution squared. But if we try to graph the coefficient restitution in each of these cases, you'll notice that initially the number jumps up quite high. When it goes up to 2 meters, it's about 0.35. When it goes up to 4 meters, it's 1 half. At 6 meters, it's 0.61. At 8 meters, it's 0 0.707. And continue on like that, and like that, and like that, and then finally like this. And you can see that when we try to graph the coefficient of restitution, they meet at zero. In other words, if zero energy is restored, if all the energy is lost in the collision, the coefficient of restitution is equal to the coefficient of restitution squared, which is equal to the ratio of the final energy to the initial energy, all of them being zero. And at the end, when it reaches the maximum height of 16 meters, then we know that the coefficient of restitution is one, the coefficient of restitution squared is one, and the ratio of the energies between the final and initial kinetic energy before and after the collision is also equal to one. But in between, notice that the coefficient restitution does give you a different value. It's not that linear relationship. It does give you an indication as to roughly how much energy is lost and how much energy is kept in the collision. But it's not a linear relationship. So just be aware when you see this, it gives you a good indication, but it's not an exact representation of the ratios of the energies. That's what we mean again with the coefficient of restitution.